last time we did Storm Shield Defense 4 and Plankerton. And including the mission that I plan on doing today and Storm Shield Defenses, there are only 26 quests left in Plankerton. We have Shelter Skelter. A survivor shelter is under attack. Extract the survivors before it's too late. Complete and evacuate the shelter mission in a power 34 plus zone. Awards 100 gold and 3.5k schematic XP. So thankfully I do have a 34 zone here and it has no, no modifiers which means that it should not be too difficult. So e uh, evacuate the shelter. First thing you're going to want to do when you actually get into the mission is run towards the shelter. Which will have a health bar and everything already shown. And uh, oh that's going down fast. And so basically I just trapped myself in, in the corner. Are you, f are you kidding me? I've trapped myself. Oh god. Okay. Well, um, the shelter just survived it on its own. In a higher level zone, you might have to actually defend that, like, fully. So I know that I have enemies coming from this east area. And although you can try to build trap tunnels, what I have here is a really, really stupid spawn that I think would make it literally not worth it. So I think I'm just going to brute force it and not, not really care. And no, nothing that I'm doing here is actually any good, and I do not recommend that you follow exactly the way that I'm going to do this. Dude, I have like, I guess melee because I don't have any ammo for anything but shotgun. Now I'm just going to build these so the defender does not walk away too far. Down here at the at the shelter walls that I have, since I kind of got this really weird spawn, I think just for this area I am going to set up a little bit of reinforcement ing just to uh, further block enemies from being able to do anything down here. Though I suspect if I do have enemy like spawn changing, it will either be from east to south or down over here to the north. So it's good that I do actually want to think about this, to be honest. These tiny walls are just to screw with enemies if they try to walk further towards the, uh, towards the roof pieces. I don't actually, I, I, I find it hard to believe they will actually try to get over here. I think they'll just try to break, well, I mean, this is the middle tile, so maybe, but I don't know. You know, I feel like I'm going to have some kind of, like, negative consequence for spending so much of my available prep time for, on uh, just literally farming, rather than, you know, actually thinking about how I'm defending this. Because I do have a really weirdly stupid spot, which means that I already kind of anticipate a bit of difficulty, and yet here I am just kind of wasting all the time they give me to prepare. I mean, what could go wrong, right?
I have to go deal with what what's going on down here. And then just so I don't have to deal with this forever. Now the really observant viewers will notice that I did not place my base, and there's no particular reason for that, it's that I'm actually an idiot and I forgot. Okay, everyone needs to just leave me the hell alone. It's like they want to actually destroy this and kill all the survivors or something. Like, that can't be it, right? Okay, so maybe I definitely should have placed more uh, traps during this. Especially because I oddly seem to have a lot going on down there. It's weird because uh, there was no implication that enemies would be coming from down here. You know, I'm starting to realize it would make a lot of sense to do something like this. Because this is the main spot they seem to want to attack. Aside from down there. And I hear Smasher. Okay, there's a lot going on simultaneously. Denied. Okay, it's almost as if my defender's underleveled or something. Are oh, you down again already? Come on, it's almost as if my underleveled defender can't handle this. Almost as my underleveled power 9 defender that I haven't tried to put in any effort or leveling up into was literally is literally too low for this power 34 zone. Come on, that's unreasonable. Said nobody ever. All right, well, um, by a miracle of uh, stalling and uh, wasting time, I managed to actually keep them out. I believe that was zero damage to the shelter since none of those walls broke, even though one of them came close due to uh, various propane husks. Either way, not bad. That's that's still a lot faster and a lot easier than I normally find a, uh, a repair the shelter mission to be. Okay, in terms of mission rewards, level 4 loot with 6 lightning in a bottle, a little bit of hero XP, practically no reason to have gained any survivor XP epic, I would prefer if you just didn't give me this. Not because I have a lot, because 70 won't do anything for me. And again, I guess every little bit helps. Depends on how you look at it, really. And of course, a lot of battle pass XP. Great, because the current season's, uh, I believe, only a few days from ending. Here's my main quest. 100 gold and 3,500 schematic XP. Commander, the road ahead is going to be rough. And 
These recruits could still use a little work. I need you to show them what lies ahead in Plank Harbor. Well then, let's jump right to the gruesome stuff. Okay, uh, I guess that's not that bad, really. I'll figure that out later. Oh, I have upgrade points to spend. That I do. Okay, well, realistically, I don't know what in here would benefit me. Do I need backpack space? No, but, but let's get it. There, now I can hold more stuff. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I guess uh, next time we'll be looking at this 500 Husky quest.